going to be interesting at the start of the match. Do you think they're uh, actually playing as well as they were last year? I mean, I, I, although Monica Sellis has come through without the loss of a set, I don't know whether she's got the same sort of zest that she had on her comeback her Grand Slam here last year. Well, the talk in the locker room is that she's not playing as well, but she's still winning her matches. Her serve is not as effective. She was hitting a lot of service winners, getting free points off her serve last year. Could be because of the shoulder injury. She's just not going for it as much, rolling it in. But also she's hitting a lot of ground strokes off her back foot, and that should be a big difference for Steffi Groff because she likes to come in she likes to play aggressive if Steffi Groff can start well which she hasn't this whole tournament if yeah. she can start well she can win this match okay well I mentioned that Monica Seles had come through without the loss of a set uh, Steffi Groff also without the loss of a set through to the final let's just uh, remind ourselves of the two ladies path through to this final Groff's first round match was up against Yayo Pizuki from Indonesia 6-3 7-6 tough second set tie break. Steffi Graf started slow, but she also set finished slow. She had a couple set points against her. Pleased with her performance. This was a night match. But not a bad performance by the Indonesian girl, Yaya Pazuki. Pazuki should be pleased with that performance because she's never gotten that close. She's never taken a set from Graf, and she got close in this encounter. 6-3, 7-6, she went down first round. Well, the second round opponent was Karin Kishvent. And the German girl, and that was uh, a little bit easier. Yeah, six two, six top. one. Six two, six one. But again, in the first set, her opponent had chances. And Steffi Gruff, she's getting her groove, but she's getting her groove in the third, fourth, fifth game. So the first couple games, she's not starting as well as she used to when she played here at the US Open and became champion so many times. Next round, Tasha Zvereva, who was through to the doubles final today. And uh, that was actually an interesting and closely contested first set. 6-4 that. Second set, though, 6 two. Steffi Groff getting some luck with the net court on match point. But this was her toughest match. Zareva, talented player, plays well off of both sides, but went down 6-4, 6-2. Had her chances in the opening set and did not convert. Well, Steffi Graf has played the two youngest players uh, in the open draw. And this was uh, the youngest of them, a qualifier, yes. Anna Kornikova from Russia, who showed plenty of flashy shots, but uh, Ste Steffi Graf really put her in her place, two and one. Steffi Graf usually doesn't have problems with young players coming up. She played against Anna Kornikova. So much talk was made about her, but she dispatched her easily, two and one. Then the first Austrian lady to reach the quarterfinals, Judith Wiesner. And this was tougher than expected. It was a lot tougher than expected because Wiesner came alive not just with their ground strokes, but she played tactically a perfect match. Steffi Groff, though, having been in this position so many times and having the experience, came through. And then the match that we had yesterday, this was delayed from the previous day because of uh, the hurricane, Hurricane Fran, 16th seed, Martina Hingis. And this was one that was uh, eagerly awaited. Martina Hingis had been playing well, you mentioned some of the best tennis that we've seen in the two weeks of play. This was the best match of the tournament. Martina Hingis actually held four set points. She was up 5-4, love 40 on the Groff serve, and Groff played every point brilliantly. At the end, just congratulate Martina Hingis for a great tournament. So, 7-5, 6-3, and uh, just thinking back to that match yesterday, Martina Hingis, she was asked in the press room afterwards, you know, you've played in the mixed doubles and the ladies doubles, maybe that took something out of you. Well, actually, what happened with Martina Hingis, if there wasn't a rain delay, she would have done better because just sitting around all day in the locker room, hanging out, she got to the semis and the mix, the women's doubles and the women's singles, and that was too much for her. For a kid at 15 years of age, even she has 11 months after that 15 years of age, that was too much for her. Okay, and she said she just felt really tired, uh, you know, at the end of that first set. Uh, she, made, she was made to do an awful lot of work. And that is exactly what Steffi Graf, I'm sure, is going to do to Monica Seles today. Oh, absolutely. Everyone has been seeing and watching Monica Seles over the course of the year, and she's not moving as well as when she came out. That's why she's hitting more balls off her back foot, and that's what Steffi Graf has to rely upon, that she's a better athlete, that she can get the first step off the line a lot quicker, and hopefully that will work for her. Okay, well, we've done Steffi Graf. How about Monica Seles? Uh, she started off in convincing fashion. First match against Ann Miller. American, and she dropped just one game. Game seven, nine, a bit of a disappointment uh, and an, almost seven, an embarrassment seven, for the young lady from America. Six, six, Never in the match. 
Monica Sellis won that match in less than an hour in straight sets. And a lot of people coming to watch Monica, if they go and get a soft drink and <laughs> wait to get to their seat, they may miss a match. That was this kind well, of situation. Well, they missed it. And uh, Laurence Courtois was not able to take the court. She was suffering from a knee injury. So the young lady from Belgium withdrew. So Sellis was through to the third round for the loss of just one game and only played a couple of very short sets. Next round, Dali Randriantrophy from Madagascar. Love and two, this one. Steffi Graf knows exactly how to play Monica Sellis. This young player does not. She was just struggling the whole time playing defensive tennis. Game set and for her, Hello. just watches the winner go by on match point. Six one, six two. So to this point, Sellis had dropped just three games. So a love and one, a walk over and a love two. Then Sandrine Testud from France. And uh, for once, Monica Sellis was tested. This was the first challenge that she'd had. The first set against the French girl was 7-5. Monica Sellis has really been hurt with the way that she's been able to serve. She's just been rolling the serves in, so she's been having to play a lot better on other opponents' serves. She's having to break a lot more. Her parents looking on, pleased with her effort. Sandrine Testu pushed Monica in the first set, but then just really had nothing left in the tank. Second, uh, the next set going six to love. So then, Amanda Kurtzer. This was uh, the young lady that had been playing very well, knocked out uh, number six seed, Anke Huber, and uh, had looked very good in the tournament up until this point. Well, this match had a potential for being the best match of the tournament, but Amanda never got started. It was because Monica Sellis was focused, she was determined, she had good crowd support, her parents again cheering her on, and doesn't have to worry too much about the first set, and was actually so far ahead in the second set, and just let a couple games slip through. So six love, six three for Monica Sellis. So then in the semi-final, the first seed that she'd had to face, number four seed, Conchita Martinez, who in eight meetings had never beaten Monica Seles, will make that nine. But uh, straight set. But there were signs here that the way Conchita Martinez was pushing Seles that, you know, Seles was fallible. Conchita played such a smart match. She used the slice backhand to her advantage. She would try to pass down the line, worked Monica around the court, and just didn't have it on the big points. They played last year in the semifinals, same result. Monica Sellis beating Conchita Martinez and advancing through to the finals. So, as we said, there we have a repeat of last year's uh, final, Monica Sellis against Steffi Graf, number one and number two seed. No problems with the seedings there. But we're saying, what you were mentioning, does this mean that uh, whatever happens here will... Uh, even if Monica Seles loses, will she still be co-ranked number one? She still will be co-ranked number one. That's according to the rankings in the Corel WTA Tour. It's different than the men's division where there are so many different players that could have been number one. I mean, Pete Sampras and Michael Chang, whoever wins that match will be number one. Gorni Ivanovic had a chance. But in women's tennis, it's not the same. They just kind of co-rank these two players, one for the year, and then just see what happens. Well, the rest of them fight it out amongst themselves. Well, we better turn around and see what's happening out on the stadium court. Let's uh, pick it up. Uh, just in time to see Monica Seles and Steffi Graf come out. Always that sort of self-conscious smile from Monica Seles. Awaits the roar. Steffi out there, she's got a game face on. Don't see too many smiles from her. We'll take a quick break. Do join us, the ladies' set final coming up here from the US. We'll be back. <laughs> 